I'm here at the Hangar Theater in Maryville, Missouri, where Northwest Missouri State University video production students are showcasing their talent and all of the hard work that they've put in this year. This is definitely a privilege, and it's just so awesome that we get to come here and we get to watch our, all of our films on the big screen. It gives you like the motivation and the like, I've made this and I can make even better things. Because like this was my short, first short film. Like it makes me want to watch it and then be like, okay, I can't wait for my next one. For video production and digital cinematography professor Adam Bocart, this event is about providing a valuable opportunity for his students. This is a really critique driven medium and there's no better critique than hearing how a crowd reacts to something that you've made. It also is a, a tool to up, up the ante, kind of up the jeopardy, knowing that if your film is going to be 30 feet tall in massive surround sound, make it good. Like There's a lot of added pressure to make something of quality knowing that this is kind of our end goal. For many students, being able to apply all of the technical skills they've learned throughout the year and come out with a finished product is the best part. It's almost satisfying putting all of the pieces together, like making each piece, like making the script, making the pre-production documents, and then being able to see it on a timeline and then eventually see it exported into a movie that didn't exist like maybe three weeks ago. Whether his students want to pursue a career in film or not, Bocart hopes to leave his students with an experience they'll never forget. Some people will never want to get to Hollywood and that, that is totally fine, not their thing. But to give them that experience or at least that moment that down the road they're going to say like, hey, I, I made a movie and it played in a theater and we got to get dressed up and 300 people sat and, and laughed at what I made. And, and that's, even if they never do it again for the rest of their life, that is something that will stay with them. Reporting from The Hangar in Maryville, Missouri, Courtney Rowe, KQ2 News.